Hi, my name is Dr. Robin Abramsik, and I'm a holistic and biological dentist in Heath, Texas. The name of my practice is Smile Ranch Dentistry, and I am here with my good friend and blog writer, Michael McNeil. Hello. He is a health coach, and he is about to graduate from... It's the Institute of Integrative Nutrition out of New York City, and I graduate in November. Congratulations. Yeah, thank exciting. you. I appreciate it. Yeah. He is a fountain of knowledge, and today we're going to talk about glutathione. And it plays a very important role in my practice and something that I actually recommend to all of my patients who are considering or in the process of having uh, mercury filling removed. And the importance of glutathione is that it actually plays a major role in helping to detoxify the body. And it's part of the, it's the most important antioxidant involved with redox reactions in our body. It actually helps to rescue proteins and it plays a major role in moving mercury out of the body. But it's not the only player, right? There are other players That's that right. go along with it. Mm -hmm. So if you have, say for instance, a protein inside the cell attached to mercury because that's what it does. Mercury is a scavenger, it seeks out proteins, mm -hmm. G proteins, it unwinds enzymes, so it's just very detrimental to everything in our body. But you need several players to help the system orchestrate beautifully, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. So you have your glutathione and then say you have a mercury attached to a protein. Mm -hmm. So in order for that mercury to attach to the glutathione, you've got to have a transferase. Mm -hmm. It's glutathione S-transferase, it's a very important enzyme. Mm -hmm. And then once that happens, in order to get out of the cell, you have to have a transporter protein. So whenever that transporter protein it can an issue, this, this conglomerate outside of the cell, and then to move it out of the body, you need to have another transporter protein that'll actually move it to the liver and another one to the bile, to the small intestine. There's also other transport proteins that can take it from the blood straight to the intestines or to the kidneys. So very important that everything orchestrates and works really well together. Right. Mm -hmm. And then also, have you heard people talk about um, the crucifers, garlic mm -hmm. and broccoli? being chelators. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, just because sulfur, um, they, sulfur can bind to so many different toxic elements mm -hmm. in the body. And I've been a huge fan of not only crucifers, but also a simple supplement called MSM, mm -hmm. which is a methylated sulfur. Um, it's methyl sulfonyl methane. And taking that, I took it for about six years. You can feel the natural detoxification happening as you take those substances in. That's and of course, I love garlic and onions and cabbage all of that. and all of it. All of that. Yeah. But it's really important to know the distinction. So if you actually look deeper into the biochemistry, they're not chelators. They're actually stimulates of the glutathione system. That's right. So more accurately, they stimulate and they help to upregulate gene expression of those different players that play a role in the glutathione system. Mm -hmm. So back to MSN, how do you take it? In um, what form? I take a powdered form and okay. I put a couple teaspoons in water. It's a little bit bitter and has kind of an odd flavor, but mm -hmm. I try and drink it down on an empty stomach just so it's going in. Like you said, it'll kick, it kickstarts many systems because you can feel it go in. And I mean, there's multiple benefits to it, along with boosting glutathione. It's joint pain reduction and gets rid of bad calcium in the body and kind of offsets these calcified arthritic conditions that tend to happen. It can help reduce inflammation. And in mercury, it's good because anything to reduce gut inflammation, That's right. anything to open up another phase of detoxification, either one, two, or three, right. is going to help you overall eliminate mercury more effectively in the body. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very important to know also that mercury, um, it causes gut inflammation. Mm -hmm. And most people have gut dysbiosis. Most mm -hmm. of us do. Right. So it's very important that we help to nurture the gut. But whenever you have inflammation, it downregulates detoxification. So very important that you work on healing your gut as you're going through that detox process. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. And another thing I like too about uh, not only mercury removal um, as being a whole body restoration. I mean, when you get that one thing gone, just if your liver is bogged down, you don't synthesize hormones correctly. So I'll, I'll see patients or I'll work with with clients who. They'll come in and they'll have a whole host of breakdowns from thyroid conditions yes. to liver conditions Absolutely. to hormone conditions. And guess what? When you open up their mouth, they're filled with mercury. Right. And that is like the number one thing. They're going to doctors, they're spending thousands of dollars on supplements, all this and nothing will change until they get rid of the root cause. That's right. And so I like that when we remove those out of our patient's mouth, 
they start seeing their whole entire body change. Absolutely. Which is awesome. It's so, awesome. Yeah. It's all a journey. That's right. It's not a quick fix. That's right. Because health requires time, commitment, and money. That's right. So, but we're here to work with you through that. That's so, right. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us today. Thanks.